Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. Today we're going to be looking at two add-ons, which I think work well together, in terms of adding some realism to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Although more realism can be added using freeware, which I explained in the video linked above, I wanted to showcase and take a deeper look at the upcoming mod from Aerosoft called Simple Traffic and Air Jetway Pro by LVFR, and see if they provide more accurate realism in the sim. So the intention of this video is to test both add-ons, show you how they work, give you my opinion, and lastly, explain how to use them. Simple Traffic has one goal, to replace the default fictional liveries of the simulator with existing liveries. I've quoted Aerosoft directly here, since this is the best definition of the add-on. What this means is that we should be seeing regional liveries in the correct airports. It features real-world airline liveries and offline traffic routes and schedules. In online AI mode, real-world liveries are selected according to the live traffic data feed within the sim. In offline AI mode, liveries are selected according to the online traffic routes and schedules included with simple traffic. The add-on includes liveries for over 175 real-world airlines and new airline liveries are being updated all the time. Offline AI traffic routes and schedules are derived from over 30 million records of real-world ADSB flight data enabling pre-COVID airline traffic levels globally within the sim. Simple traffic includes over 1400 airports, there's absolutely no impact on the frame rate, zero learning curve, you basically install it and just forget about it, which is really easy, which I'll show you later, and it's fully transparent to other downloaded content, so it's basically compatible with all airports. It's designed to work with AI online and AI offline mode. So there is a choice there. The airports do look more realistic with the liveries. However, it's not a solution if you're looking for liveries on real world plane models, which follow their real world routes. This will be unwanted news for some of you. I do think it adds more realism in terms of visuals at airports, but it is largely limited to just that. I also think simple traffic could be good for you if you're not so fussed about accurate liveries on specific aircraft models. But if you are, it might be best to wait for something else to come along, as this mod does not use accurate models. There are a few bugs present. For example, some of the aircraft do suddenly disappear. But again, if you aren't that bothered about this, and want something easy to use, it could be a good buy. A lot of the problems are due to the Sims SDK being limited. So I do think Aerosoft have done a good job as a short-term fix, until Asobo really addresses this. The installation process is simple. You can either do it with the Aerosoft installer, or manually. I've installed it manually, since this is an advanced copy. All you need to do is download the zip folder and extract the folders straight into your community folder. Just make sure you go into the main folder and select all the folders and pull them out, not just the main root folder. And just to clear any confusion, the main folder in the actual zip folder is called community in the add-on. It's just a coincidence. So just click into the community in the zip folder and there you'll see all the rest of the folders that you need to move into your community folder itself. Alternatively, you can of course use the add-on linker. So whichever way you want to install it, it's quite straightforward and you just leave it after that. Aerosoft did tell me that users should read the manual to avoid disappointment as it points out the limitations of the add-on, which I think is a great approach from the developer. So I thought it would be a good idea to go through this now so everything is clear to you in case you want to buy it. You can see here in the manual that they actually outline exactly what to expect from Simple Traffic. We'll have a quick look at that now. The important notice reads, as we ask people to read the manual before buying the product to avoid disappointment, let's get some elephants out of the room. Simple traffic does not affect the positioning or movements of the default traffic of Microsoft Flight Simulator. It simply can't. It just feeds data to the simulator. If there is not enough data, for example, if online traffic is used and the required airline is not yet covered by simple traffic, the simulator will select an airline at random. That is why you might see an American regional airline in Europe. As more liveries are added, this problem will slowly diminish. If you set static aircraft, ground aircraft entity, over zero, the simulator will select the livery randomly. Simple traffic has no control over this. There is no mechanism to avoid this right now. Overall, we believe that any real livery is better than a fictitious livery, even if it's not at the right location. I must say, I think that's very honest of the developers, and I think it's fair for us to know exactly what we're getting ourselves into. So like I said earlier in the video, it's really about how it looks. If you're not bothered about the exact accuracy of it, it's quite a good add-on. Otherwise, I'd probably wait. The rest of the manual outlines the different tools, installation guides, and recommended settings, which we'll have a look at now. They recommend that aircraft traffic type should be set to AI online or AI offline. AI aircraft traffic density can be set as required, but they suggest something between 35 and 50. At higher settings, they've seen routing problems. So I tend to set this at 50 and it seemed to work nicely. 
The ground aircraft density is best set to zero because it uses completely random liveries. You should be using generic plane models AI traffic on and generic plane models multiplayer should be turned on. And lastly, traffic variety must be set to ultra. If you follow these recommended settings, you should get the most out of the add-on. I've tinkered with it a little bit and I do like to have busy airports and I'm not that fussed about the absolute accuracy. So I tend to turn up the ground aircraft entity anyway a little bit just to add more traffic. But again, this is really a personal preference. I do think this is a simple, hence the name, add-on which does add to the immersion, even if it's not completely accurate. So as I mentioned earlier, if you're really looking for accurate liveries on the correct models, you may be disappointed and might want to pass on this occasion. But I do think it will suit some simmers out there. Simple traffic will be available to purchase in the coming days directly from the Aerosoft website. And I'll leave a link for that in the description. The second add-on I want to have a closer look at is the Airport Jetway Pro by LVFR. According to the developers, Airport Jetway Pro replaces the default airport jetway within Microsoft Flight Simulator with a more detailed and complex jetway which has more details, sounds and lights. The jetway is modelled after glass type jetways which replaces all Microsoft Flight Simulator default airport jetways. However, this add-on won't replace jetways from customised airport packages that don't use the default jetway. So what this means is that if you purchase an airport which has its own enhanced jetways, this will not override it which is great because the last thing we need is to worry about which mods interfere with which. Lastly, this add-on does not modify the placement or location of jetways in the sim, it just replaces the default ones. The reason I chose to include this add-on is that it really does add that extra little bit of detail to the airport models. You can see the details very impressive and they even managed to model the interior of the jetway. Although this is not linked in any way to the simple traffic mod, I always find it useful to combine these products with the aim of creating more realism in the sim overall. This add-on is priced at €7.99 and is available from both LVFR and Sim Market. To install the add-on, you'll need to use the Contrail web shop, which I've left a link for in the description. All you need to do is go into the web shop. You can actually buy it here too, but if you buy it from the Sim Market, you just have to enter the serial number into the product and it'll install it for you there. So it's very quick and very easy. So combining these two add-ons does give us a lot more realism in the airports. However, it's not perfectly accurate. But I think it's a good solution for now until something better shows up. I will be looking at some other options in future videos. And if you are interested in adding more realism in other ways to the sim, then check out my realistic add-ons playlist. And as always, I hope you find this content useful and I look forward to making the next video soon. Please remember to like, subscribe and share this video if you find it useful as it may help other simmers too. Thanks so much for watching guys and do please remember to take care and stay safe.